So what is a set? We will now write down what is a set. A set is a collection of well-defined objects. So this is the definition of a set. Now there are various examples of set people say like the collection of chairs, the collection of flowers, the, the collection of students. So what is the set basically? It is just a collection of what? It is just a collection of well-defined objects. Now, what we will do is we, in this course, we are going to need some very, very standard sets, okay? So we will write down what are the examples of some of the very, very standard sets, we, which we will be using throughout uh, this particular course. So let me write down the first standard set is the set of natural numbers. So let me write down what are what are what are natural numbers we denote them by capital N but we just don't write a capital N we will put a line also ex extra left hand side we will put a line and this is nothing but the set of what the set of natural numbers and what am I going to denote this set by this set is denoted by this gothic N and the num and the elements in this set I'm going to write in the curly brackets and the elements will be natural numbers start from one, two, three, four and dot, dot, dot. So these are what these are. This is the set of natural numbers, which is an infinite set, a set we will always denote by capital alphabet and the elements inside that if alphabets are there, I will denote them by small alphabets. OK, for example, a set A is there. I'm going to denote its element by what? little a, little b, and so on. So this will be our standard terminology. Here you have numbers, so there's nothing like capital and small. So we are going to directly insert numbers inside this set. The second important set is the set of what? The set of whole numbers. Now whole numbers are denoted by what? They are denoted by a capital W with a double line to the left hand side. This is a Gothic letter. And what is the set of whole numbers containing? The set of whole numbers contain all natural numbers. So one, two, three, four obviously is going to be there. And I'm going to add one extra element. And that extra element is what? That extra element is zero. So this is the set of what? This is the set of whole numbers. Third set that I'm going to write is on the screen I'm writing is the set of integers. So the set of integers. I'm going to denote by uh, an alphabet, which is uh, which is Z. Okay, and what is Z containing? What are integers containing? Integers are containing all numbers which are positive. Means I'm going to write one, two, three, four, all positive numbers. Then I'm going to insert all negative numbers also minus one minus two minus three. I'm writing in the reverse fashion. OK, and I'm going to also include zero in this particular set. So this set is called as a set of integers. And what am I going to denote it by? I'm going, going to denote it by Gothic Z or capital Z with a double line in between. OK, so this is a set of integers. Let me now change the page. The next example of an important set is the set of rational numbers. So I'm going to write it as this rational numbers. I'm going to denote by what? I'm going to denote the rational numbers by capital Q with a double line at the left hand side. So what is the set of all rational numbers equal to? This set contains all fractions. OK, now what are fractions? Fractions are I'm going to have numbers of the type 2 upon 3, minus 3 upon 4, 7 upon minus 8, or 0 upon 5, which is simply 0. OK, or minus 1 upon minus 2, 
but you will not have a number which is of the form 7 upon 0 this is not allowed okay because 7 upon 0 is what this number is not defined we say in in your earlier classes you must have said this that this number you cannot find it is actually infinite or minus infinity this is what people say but actually you should say that anything upon 0 is what is actually not defined so i will not allow the denominator of the fraction to become what the denominator of fraction should not be equal to zero so and what is a numerator and what is a denominator so if i have a number which is a fraction which is a upon b okay what is a allowed to be and what is b allowed to be so i'm going to allow this a to be any integer now what is an integer now we know what is an integer integer are what 0, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. All these are integers. So A0 is allowed. Okay, 0 bhi chalega. A0 is fine. What is B? B also should be integer. But there is only one restriction that you have for B. First of all, this B should not be equal to 0. Otherwise, the number will not be defined. And that B also can be what? That B also can be integer. B can be positive. B can be negative. Like in the first example, 2 upon 3. The value of B is 3. In the second, in the third example of 7 upon minus 8, B can be be what? Minus 8. So B can be positive. B can be negative. But B cannot be 0. So this all means that uh, if I try to write down the definition of rational numbers, I will say that a rational number is written in the form of what? All the numbers which are written in the form of A upon B such that this line stands for such that you can even replace this oblique big line by a symbol like this. Put two dots. Even this is also allowed. You can say such that a is integer a can be any integer b also can be any integer but b should not be equal to what b should not be equal to zero so these are examples of what these are the examples of all rational numbers so we will write here i will remove this word fractions also and i will write example 2 upon 3, minus 3 upon 4, 7 upon minus 8, minus 1 upon minus 2, 0 upon 5, dot, 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 etc. are all rational numbers. Okay. Now, if a number is not of this form, so there are still some numbers which are not natural numbers, which are not whole numbers, which are not integers which are not rational numbers okay all such numbers remaining numbers i'm going to categorize them i'm going to say them th that they are irrational numbers if a number does not fit in any of these categories i will call that number to be what i will call it to be irrational numbers so what is irrational numbers I'm going to denote it by capital I with a double line. Okay, irrational number I is what? All numbers which are not rational, which are not rational are called irrational numbers 